Alright guys, what's up and welcome back to Gary's Mod. Sorry for my long awaited return, but I am now back and we're going to take a second look at the G Phone. If you guys forgot, the G Phone was an amazing, awesome app. You can go ahead and check out the last video I did on it right here in the top right corner. And that will tell you pretty much everything you need to know about the G Phone. There's a lot of cool applications you can do. You can go to like settings, change the appearances of stuff. You do have to kind of mess around with some of the files and folders where it's installed. But you can definitely do some cool things, like here's a picture I took. Pretty damn awesome. You can go ahead and use the camera and take pictures like that. And it actually does go into your photos. Uh, I don't know where all my pictures just went. You have Storm Fox support. You have Storm Fox downloaded. You have Fur Fox, which lets you use Google. Although they recommend you use the Chromium branch. And you got G-Tunes to obviously put your music in. Really cool. I, I really did miss this mod, guys. I remember the last time we took a look at this, I think we were at that G-Mall map, which is one of my favorite maps in the whole game. And uh, I don't know why we're in the SCP facility today, but I did want to see if there's any new apps to download. So there actually is quite a few. Um, the Visualizer, I think that's new. Half-Life 2 Go. I don't even know what, what, what that's like. But uh, we have an app builder, which is pretty cool. And then we have... This thing, Malo. And the one thing that strikes me as weird is it doesn't really have a developer. It just says NA. So, I mean, it looks kind of cool. We're going to go ahead and download that. And here we go. And we're going to. Oh. Oh. Well, what do you know? It's SCP 1471. SCP 1471 is an application known as Malo. When you download it, it constantly sends you pictures periodically of where the SCP is located. This SCP will constantly send you pictures that gradually get closer and closer to your location until it eventually reaches the exact location that you're at. This SCP is Euclid, but does not appear to be harmful. It just simply haunts your peripheral vision and slowly but surely get closer and closer to you. Never seemingly harming you once again, but always being there, looming over your shoulder. Just the thought of this is enough to really make someone go crazy, and this entire time, SCP-1471 has been sending me pictures that progressively get closer and closer to me. What happens when it gets too close? Let's find out. Alright guys, hopefully I tricked one of you guys, probably not, because, uh, let's be honest, it's in the title and the thumbnail. But that was a cool little intro, I miss doing those little cinematic things, they're cringy as hell, but they really pave a story. Well, SCP-1471 has already sent me a few pictures, now I know 1471 is actually technically the app, but because I don't want to say the long string of numbers that is the SCP in the picture, I'm going to go ahead and just call him 1471. So he just sent me this picture in this tunnel. Now this is the really cool thing guys, is he will take real pictures, like this is a real picture of him on the map. The scary thing is, is I have no clue where he's at. And he might start showing up my, in my peripheral vision soon. And it's actually really creepy. Like this is a really creepy app because he's literally just stalking me. I can just sit there and look at that and if I can actually try to pinpoint it, this is actually getting kind of... Was that the tunnel he was at? B? I'm actually kind of scared because he might do something in this in this mod. What a blurry picture. It's going to get way creepier when I start noticing areas that he's at. Another thing guys is to use this app correctly or mod app. Um you do need to make sure you have an app mesh installed because if not it's not going to spawn. Oh. He's in Oh my god, this is creepy. I know where he's at. He's in one of the beds, which is actually pretty close. Let me see. I think the beds are down here. I was going to do the new SCP map, guys, but this one, um, this only appeared to work on this map. Okay, I don't know where he is. Once again, another picture has been updated. This time he's uh, in this corner. I have a feeling I'm in an area that he can't get to, which is probably good for me. Okay, guys. I think... Was this where he's at? Oh. Oh, is that the cafeteria? The orange on the walls does look kind of familiar.
Not down there. Where is that? That looks like the cafeteria, and I think you can get to that from here. <gasps> Holy fuck. <laughs> I did not expect him to actually show up. I was gonna say, wait, that's the window I was just looking at. And there he is. <laughs> that is the biggest jump scare I've ever had in my life. I've never jumped so goddamn harsh. And I have a heart condition, which is probably not good for me. But uh, there he is. That was the perfect time for him to pop up. And I'm so glad I did not do any preemptive testing for this SCP. Oh my god, what's up, buddy? So that's the thing is he won't hurt you. 1471 is harmless. He kind of he actually hangs out with you. In fact, this one um, interview with a patient or a victim of this SCP, he was actually saying that it was almost like he was like listening to him. He would sometimes like shake and do certain gestures. And yeah, there's a picture right there of him doing just that. Maybe hey, can, can, can we get a Oh, can we get a photo together? Let's see if we take a photo. Um, let me actually... Can we... What? Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was the biggest jump scare ever. I'm not kidding, guys. That was seriously insane. What's up, man? Got a good photo of you. It won't show up, though, for some reason. That is so terrifying. This is such a cool mod, though. It works absolutely just like the description says one to one one of the best representations and the coolest thing is that it uses a previous mod a mod that's not even linked to it and it's compatible with it so such a cool inclusion really awesome on the guy that put all this together another the weird thing about scp 1471 guys is the mallow app you can't uninstall it check it out for a fox uninstall no problem but mallow nope it cannot be uninstalled in any way. And, as I said previously, the creator is unknown. Okay, I'm gonna have to recover from that. That literally made my heart skip a beat. Uh, it was actually really scary. Um, it's just, it's because, like, I didn't think they were actually going to put him in the game. I mean, look at that. You turn around and whoop, you see that there. I legit did not expect that. I thought it was just gonna be sending me pictures all day. But uh, that's why we do these videos, guys, to test these things out. I recommend you guys go and check it out. This won't be a very long video, I know, but I wanted to really show this off, and I'm glad this is my first experience with it, so you guys can see it firsthand what it's like. Um, hopefully, you get scared the crap out of you, too, just like me, so I don't feel alone <laughs> and feel like a pansy. But if you guys did like this video, guys, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to see more videos just like this. I love doing these SCP videos. I know you guys like them, too. Let me know what you want me to do next in the comment section down below. And also check out my Facebook and Twitter down there, as well as all the mods in the description. I want to thank you guys so much for watching until the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, my friends, farewell. What's up guys? Thanks again for watching to the absolute end. You are freaking amazing. Click on the video to the left to see the video I did before this one, and the video to the right will be the video before that one or a random video. I'm not too sure, but thanks again guys. Until next time.